Welcome back to the 14 day practice challenge. Today our focus is the right hand again. So this is kind of a day two of, of right hand focus. What I want you to do is consider what the role of each finger is. So yesterday we focused on a bent thumb, keeping the hollow in the hand with that nice round hold. I've heard um, a beautiful fiddle instructor describe it as holding a chicken egg that hasn't been boiled. So you're holding the egg, you don't want to put enough pressure on that you crack it, but you don't want too loose a pressure that it falls and cracks. So keeping that nice round hole just to stay nice and relaxed. So today what we're going to do, that was our focus on thumb, today I want to focus on first finger by taking it out of the equation. So we're going to hold our bow and remove first finger. There's one trick to this exercise. I don't want you to point or use any sort of rigidity in your playing. So try not to tense the hand to hold your bow. Just keep it flopped over. It's not touching the stick, but it's relaxed. And by keeping it relaxed, you're going to suddenly realize, hopefully, this is what you'll feel, you'll realize that you have two main, There's it does a lot more, but two main um, issues that you'll contend with. So without having first finger on the bow, you might get a little bit of windshield wiper happening where the bow doesn't come straight down or up for you over the F-holes, but it travels. So you're losing that direction control. The other thing, and you can use second and third, you can engage those two fingers to straighten yourself out. You can see that. I'm fooling with it. The other thing you lose, and this is probably more what you'll feel, is pressure control. Starting on a down bow, the attack in a down bow. You don't have the pressure control to start with. In a jig, if you're not using an open thumb, wrist, and forearm, you might not hear the one, two, three, four, five, six accent. Or you, in a, even in a reel, you might not hear the watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. So first finger is your pressure. It has a lot to do with instigating decorations, um, tone control, loud, softs. So what I'm wanting you to do is remove it so you can become aware of how much of a role it does have. But in removing it, you're also becoming aware of what the remaining three fingers do, their position, and how engaged they'll become. And what this does is strengthens the hand. So as you're playing through it, you're becoming extremely aware of each finger and how they participate. They're not just holding a bow. It's not just like opening a door. You're, every finger is important. Every finger has a, a role to play. So this is going to look something like I'm going to do the beginner tune again. Bridges full of stitches. No first finger. What I would recommend, I, I did this so you can hear, it doesn't sound as strong as... sound as strong as if I would use my first finger but what I want you to do is take it at a nice slow tempo whether it's uh, this tune or your intermediate reel and just if you need to close your eyes and just become really aware of what is your right hand doing all right if you have any questions or challenges send me a note at themodelfiddler at gmail.com Thank you for joining me.